Hey guys, what is up? It is Dean here from Burn One, and today I'm going to be giving you guys some non Y Shorts content because um, I was just going around online looking at stuff, and I saw that Shadowverse, the game that I play the most on the side, right? This is my side game, has physical booster boxes from the first three sets. So you got Classic, um, something Darkness, uh, Evolving Darkness, or something, and then Rise of Bahamut. So, you know, I, as a huge fan of Shadowverse, I decided I would pick these up, try to open them. Uh, so we have Rise of Bahamut today. I'm hoping to hit an Albert, a Daria, and a Cloud Hall Admiral Monica. Those are the cards that I want in the set. Um, and then it looks like you've got anime cards as well in the set. So let's get right to opening it. And then also, I want you guys to let me know if you like the, uh, the non-Weiss Schwartz content on the side because, you know, Weiss is a little hard to um, do more than a couple games, uh, maybe like a game a week or, or so, right? And then you can only talk about the set so much. But um, if people were down, like, you know, we could always stream. I could stream, specifically. Like Shadowverse on the side, talk about Weiss during it. Um, so as you see, you get 24 booster packs in this box. Um, they are smaller. They're only three packs a piece, or three cards per pack. Uh, but look at those. Pretty nice. Let's get to cracking. Oh my gosh, these are a little hard to open. Hopefully we get a little bit better at this as time goes on. So, in the first pack we have... I think this is like Executioner's Axe. Sorry about that. This is a little difficult to me. I'm a little new to this setup that I've got going on. Executioner's Axe. Blade Mage. This guy I'm actually wanting because he's part of like the deck I've been climbing with. And then Piercing Rune. Piercing Rune was a good card. Um, people remember it might have been uh, nerfed at one point. Or is it limited? I forget. Uh, yeah, I think it got nerfed. I think it used to be like Evo. It goes to one mana or something. Back Way back when... I think it's Evo go to two mana now. Let's see if we can get this pack open. Oh, that was a little bit easier than the last. Um, we have, I think this is like Blitz Lancer. Ooh, this is Blade Fang. Um, I forget his full name. Blade Fang something. And then this is, uh, I don't know what this is. This is like probably one of the uh, anime only cards, right? There we go. I'm trying to get it there under the camera. And you get this little code thing in the back, so let's try to... Oh my god, these are so hard! Okay, I think I need to not try to tear them from the top. Uh, this is like Alfang Guardian, I believe? Uh, Voices of Resentment, I think? I, I could be wrong on this, I don't actually know. And, uh... Yeah, I, this card never saw play, I don't think, so. Sorry, I don't know all of the card names. These cards are in Japanese. Shadowverse, they're cowards. They're never going to bring these to English. Um, ah, they might, actually. You know, their game is fully voiced. They brought the Switch game over. Maybe one day we'll see these hit stores. That would be hype. Ugh. I, was, I was, like, talking to people about this. And I, I thought it'd be cool if uh, you could play, like, a real Shadowverse, like, with, like, the physical cards. The only thing is, I don't know how you would do Spell Boost, right? Because Spell Boost is a really rough mechanic to try to emulate. Um, but we have Buccaneer Zombie. Uh, Gino, the Werewolf or something, is a Swordcraft card. And then we have Anne. So, Anne's pretty good, you know, Anne with Greya. People may know her as the terror from the Mysteria days. Uh, this one never saw play, but... Oh my god, these are so hard to open. Like, glue together. And there we go. We have, uh, I think it's like Cunning Dragon or something. Ooh, Draconic Fervor! This is an actually played card, so... That's pretty cool. And then... Oh, let's go there. And then... I don't know what this is. I'm not too sure. Like I said, there's um some 
anime original cards in here, and they don't really have the stat lines or, like, any of the text. I know that much. Oh my god. Oh my god. They have the pull tab. Of the... There we go. Uh, I think this is, like, Imp something... Succubus, Succubus Imp or something? I'm, I'm not really sure. Uh, another Blade Mage. I'm hoping to get a play set. Uh, and this is like Bow Hunter Freya or something like that? This is a card in Forest. Still no Legendary. But, you know, we have a lot of packs in this box. Oh, I saw something shiny. We have this Kitten. Um, I can't remember what this is called. This is... Like, Manifestation of Faith or something like that, I think. I, I remember I played this in a meme deck once with, like, Skullfane. And we have Okami. This is our legendary. I really wish I could show you guys how cool the texturing on this is. There we go. Look at that. Um, This card used to see play, like, way back when. It's so like, not really, it was like a meme dex, but... Dragon Claw Pendant, speaking of meme dex. Um, I, I don't remember what this is. I've I, These sets are pretty old. And then, ooh, we have another anime original. This guy's got a cool little mustache. A little hype. I don't even know if there's a market for these, like... If you guys didn't know, like, the Shadowverse cards, they've released physical cards before. Never in a booster pack like this. They had, um, let's see if I, I thought I had one over here. Not too sure where it is, but, uh, they would, like, do bubblegum. Like, or not bubblegum, like candy. You get, like, a vanilla wafer with a Shadowverse card. And then you could also get, like, physical cards like this at conventions sometimes. And the convention ones were, like, $20 a piece. I'm not sure what these are. I'm not sure if there's like a market for these ones. Wow! Gotta get that knife again. Except for I put it away. I swear. These, these are actually the hardest packs to open I've ever seen. Oh, I think this is like samurai. It's just like, like just straight samurai. We have a necro... I'm pretty sure it's like necro mage or something. And, ooh, we have a Greya to go with our Anne. So that's pretty good. Greya from Mysterian Friends. I think people have at least seen, or at least heard of that anime. It was pretty good. Oh, that was a, just a Yuri show, but had really good art, basically. Um, I don't remember this guy. Like, I, I know what this guy does, but I don't remember his name. Seems to be pretty com common. Oh, this is Frog Cleric. Pretty easy. And, uh, I think this is Bale. Or, uh... Hold on. Baron? Bar Baron? I, I, I forget. Um... It was a staple in Blood decks and, like, Control Blood. I know that much. Oh, but we have the fighter. I, I, wait. This guy, was this guy in this pack? Was, I thought this was like a classic card. So I guess you can still get some of the original cards in this or something. I'm not exactly too sure. Tribunal of Justice, though. This card definitely had a meta impact. And then we have another one of the anime original cards here. Look at that. Probably some kind of Bloodcraft card. I'm not actually too sure. I haven't finished the Switch game, to be honest. I got stuck doing a uh, random side quest and then got distracted for a bit. Uh, we have Thief. Ooh, Vite. That's one of the Grand Blue Fantasy players, right? It's pretty popular. And then we have Lucius the Goblin Slayer. It's pretty cool. Next pack, we have Luxfang. I think it's like Luxfang Kid or something. I know what he does. 
Uh, this is Ogler, a staple in the Daria deck way back when. Maybe that means it'll be a Daria. Nope, this is, um... Angelic Sniper? No, 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 that, wait, that's a newer card. Um... Oh, God, I don't remember. Even though she was definitely a tear way back when. It's staple, staple neutral card. And then, here's some blood bronze that nobody knows. Al Guardian again. And then another one of the anime originals. I have no idea what this would be. Probably blood. Looks like a blood card. I wonder if the borders are how you tell. Yeah, no idea. Oh, one of those got stuck in there. My setup is not ideal. We have a Hamsa. Uh, this is Crystal something Tia, right? I believe. No, it's not Tia. This is like Crystal Elf or something. I'm not exactly too sure. And we have Bloodthirsty Matriarch or something like that, I believe. It's a Blood Legendary. So, I'm not exactly sure how many legendaries you're gonna box, but since we've hit two, box might be dead. Um, but we still could pull Cloud Hall Admiral Monica. Um, this is, I forget what the hell this guy is. Uh, this is Clark. The OG Clark, not the new one that people actually play. And then, um, this. This, I have no idea. Older card. I think it's Forest. Hey, that pack was easy to open. Uh, we have the Fighter. Uh, Fairy Fencer, I believe, or something. And then another one of the anime original cards. You get a lot of these anime ones. At least they look pretty cool. They're like full art, right? Just don't... They don't have the same classic feel, though, as the uh, OG cards, right? The cards that... I was playing with five years ago. Was it five years ago? Feels like that long. Um, Ogler again. And then, ooh, Lurching Corpse. This guy's still around in the meta. This guy is actually still in the meta. As a token. I mean, like, you don't put him physically in your deck, but he comes out. Um, Lux Fang Kid again, I think. Uh, like, Mammoth Behemoth or something. I'm not exactly too sure. And this is Masamune, right, I believe. The uh, the OG Masamune, not the legendary one. And then we have another Cunning Wavern. Ooh, Entangled Vines. It's got a cat girl on it. It's pretty good, pretty good. Absolute territory going on. And then another anime original. This is like another... Dragon or something. I'm not exactly too sure. I'm not like a huge fan of the anime original card designs. Like when they're like this. It's like a cartoony dragon. I'm not a fan of the buddy fight looking art. I like the more like dark. Another one of these. Buccaneer Zombie. And this is a Dwarf Alchemist. I do remember at least that one. Come on. Cloud Hall. I'm a I think she's a silver. I think she is a silver. So, we still got two packs. Well, three packs if you include this one. The Kitten. Uh, this is like Grand Gourmet Emperor Kaiser or something like that. And, oh, Cetus. Mons. I'm, I'm not exactly too sure. That is a card that was too bad to see play. I know that much. Um... I don't remember who she is. Ooh, this is like Kawi, right? Like Emperor Kawi or something? Yeah. People should remember this card. And then this is... Oh, this is the card that got announced in the uh, new expansion. Or, I, I remember that much. It summons skeletons or summons liches in the actual game. But yeah, this is, uh, this is one of the new cards in the new expansion. So it's a little hype. 
This is the last pack. Okay, we really, really want to see that Cloud Hall Admiral Monica. She is like, I think the only thing that we still have a chance to get. Uh, but we start off with a Goblin Mage. And come on. Okay, that is not it. I I don't even remember what this guy is. And then what's the last card? Oh, this is, this is uh this is like actually one of the cooler ones. It's um it is an anime original, but it's like the the main thing of the uh, genius among geniuses. Uh, don't actually remember his name fully. This is the Chrono Wizard. Look at that. And unlike the other anime originals, he actually has stats. That's pretty hype. So, yeah, it looks like in a box you get three legendaries. And then, so just, you know, for the breakdown of what you could expect out of these 24 packs, like what are the ratios... Uh, managed to pull eight of these, like the full arts. So, that means you get 11, 11 hits, like 11 really good boxes out of, uh, 24. Every other box you're going to basically pull something. And then, what are these, like nine, nine of these things? Nine golds? Not too bad. But, yeah, so that was the Darkness Evolved box opening. If you guys like this one, I've got a classic box coming in as well. Uh, much, much slower shipping though. So like, there's no telling when I'm going to actually have that. And, um, if people want, I can, I can stream on the side, like Shadowverse, whenever I decide to like grind for a couple hours. And then, uh, maybe, you know, we can talk about why. So just let me know if that's what you guys want. And until next time, this is Dean signing out.